I remember, I uh, grew up in a family of dermatologists. My father and grandfather were both dermatologists. My great-grandfather was actually a doctor. They, I'm not sure they had dermatology back in his day. So uh, at first when I decided I wanted to go into medicine, I sort of thought, well, I'll go into anything except dermatology. You know, I got, was interested in surgery for a while and pediatrics and even psychiatry for a while. And then when they gave the dermatology lectures at medical school, at Baylor Medical School, which has actually had a really good dermatology program at the time, uh, one of the lecturers was Dr. Uh, John Knox. He's actually the uh, head of Baylor Dermatology uh, back in the 60s and even the 50s. My father was there. He actually was a second resident at, uh, trained with Dr. Knox. Um, he gave a lecture on uh, dermatology that was tied to dermatology. And uh, so I kind of actually did get interested in dermatology, even though I wanted to, to sort of avoid it at first. I finally realized there, there was some value to doing dermatology. And uh, when I heard him give a talk about dermatopathology, which I really didn't know much about at the time, I thought, well, that's kind of cool because you can kind of uh, learn everything all the way down to the molecular, bio, you know, microscopic level all the way to the patient and correlate what you see with the, uh, what you see in the patient with the histology. So that, that kind of got my interest. I was also very good at, uh, uh, histology in medical school uh, when I was in college they had uh, uh, histology there and I was also quite good at in medical school so it was just kind of a natural aptitude uh, but I do kind of consider myself to be a dermatologist first because I was trained as a dermatologist and then did dermatopathology secondarily.